Hi, my name is Todd Hurt, Senior Product Manager at West Penn Wire. In this session, we're going to take a look at our AV over IP installation. The first thing we want to do is decide on where our wall plate, our controller are going to be, and it's going to run back to a network switch. We've run category six cable, put our modular plugs on each end, and we have our two gang wall plate and a one gang here for our eight button controller. Our two gang wall plate uh, will not fit into a standard two gang AV box or electrical box. So we do provide you with a wall uh, drywall bracket uh, for the installation of our two gang wall plate. The one gang will fit into an AV standard one gang box or eight button controller. Uh, this is pre-programmed and it will fit into a uh, one gang box. So once we have the cable run, our modular plugs uh, fit onto each end of the cable, we simply just have to snap them into our RJ45, put into each location. And then just take our mounting screws and then we can mount the two gang box and the one gang box into place. We've run category six from our translator wall plate, our eight button controller, up through the ceiling. You notice we have two category six cables, one for the transmitter and one for our eight button controller. And we're going to run this category six back to the uh, network switch located near the uh, display. We're here at our display location. We run our category six cables from our transmitted wall plate and our eight button controller back to uh, where our network switch is gonna be. And I've plugged in the network switch. It's operational. And all we simply have to do is just plug in our category six cables from the transmitter and the eight button controller into our network switch. And then we also have our receiving device. Our receiving device has our uh, LAN port. And we just simply plug in a category six into another port of the network switch. Now all three of our AV over IP components, the transmitter, the receiver, and the eight button controller are all now powered by the eight button or the uh, ethernet switch. I've mounted the ethernet switch, the four port, five port ethernet switch, and the receiving device to the TV. Everything is going through the network switch um, to get video to the display. Simply just plug in our HDMI to our receiver, and then to an input on the TV. The audio portion of this is we have our 2 by 20 watt amplifier. I have it plugged in, it's operational. Um, and we also ran speaker cables from this location up to our 2 by 2 speaker in the ceiling. We plug that in. I'm going to go ahead and mount this to the TV. Now we have an audio out of our receiver that will go into our amplifier and we will be using our 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter cable audio out to the input of the amplifier. This will get audio from our source back through the switch, audio out to the amplifier to the speaker. The operation point of our uh, AV over IP is extremely simple. Um, once we get our AV IP devices hooked into the ethernet switch, um, we take a source like a laptop, a DVD player, Blu-ray, and we just take a HDMI cable and we can plug it into our HDMI wall plate. 
And this is an auto sensing, so it auto senses that there's an HDMI input to this wall plate. And then a video will be displayed on your display. The 8 button controller is kind of the brains of a point to point application. <clears throat> to simply program this, all we have to do is take our laptop, plug it into the Ethernet switch. Each one of these uh, IP devices have an IP address that we can access uh, information uh, on each one of these devices. But our 8 button controller here, I program this to have an HDMI, VGA, audio up, audio down, audio mute unmute and there's other buttons that, that you can uh, place some RS-232 or other LAN controls in this. With our operation here with our 8 button controller we can turn the volume up we can mute we can unmute and we can turn the volume down West Penn Wire's AV over IP installation and operation is extremely easy and cost effective, especially for installations such as a K through 6 or K through 12 classroom, uh, a church or house of worship application, or even a boardroom. Our system not only does point to point through the switch, but it also can be expanded for room collaboration. If you're looking for more information on West Penn Wire's AV over IP products, please visit our website at www.westpennwire.com.